Have you ever wondered if there is any serious, intellectual, and rational debate left on Earth? Well, it turns out there is, and it takes place in the most intellectually stimulating place on the planet. The descendants of Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates all debate here, and this place is none other than the YouTube comments section. Do you know the real purpose of YouTube? No, not video, silly. It's the comment section. The videos are merely there to display the comment section, where due to great moderation and systems designed to have the most insightful comments be more visible, people can have truly rational and intellectual discussions. Can die or destroy that is an entity, moron. Shut up, loser. Now, to see the true intellectual level of debate on YouTube, we just look at the debate pyramid. As you can see, the things at the top are the least intelligent, because they are the smallest, and the things at the bottom are the most intelligent, because they are the largest, and are the best for intellectual arguments. You have to be dumb to post this! Russia is half the world's nukes! Dot dot. USA, the other half! He posted that comment twice, by the way. I will not read an example of a truly intellectual debate on YouTube. Pat and Judith spawned King Kong on top of the Empire State Building since they are on a New York map. Like if you agree. It's because he died on the building in that movie. Well, no one cares. The movie is fake. No one cares about your existence. No one cares about your existence. I care. But this truly rational and intellectual level of debate would not be possible without proper moderation. And YouTube comments are great at that. I mean, there are literally no bots. And the originality of comments on the site is simply amazing. There are so many amazing ideas every day, yet people literally never repeat the same comment over and over again. Three years later, this boy destroys the tree of England, trying to find another and the remaining countries with new ones. YouTube is where many of the most brilliant and well-supported theories are constructed. Also, if you were to read Tragedy and Hope, you will find out that the USA secretly supported Mao over Chiang Kai-shek, so don't expect the USA to protect Taiwan. China and North Korea are a role model for the Muslim nations how to respond to the threats of economical and military wars declared by USA and the Western powers. Unfortunately for the Muslim nations, they have lots of corrupt people running their countries. By the way, most of the massacres Genghis Khan is attributed to never happened. As you can see, YouTube comments are truly the peak of modern debate.